Can I share something with you? We are getting ready for something that y'all have asked for, for, I don't know, I think three or four years. We started off with this course when we traveled live with Lee Carroll Cryon. In fact, that's how it came about. Lee was in a uh, teaching a channeling discussion in Montana, Big Sky, and he looked at me and said, well, you teach a how to channel class, don't you? And I'm like, um, well, yes, I do. <laughs> and, and so I developed the how to channel class, even if you think you can't. And it has evolved over the years. We had a how to channel 1.0, how to channel 2.0. And now we have how to channel 3.0, even if you think you can't. And the way that it has evolved is from your requests. Anybody that has taken the How to Channel Even If You Think You Can't course, whether it was live or last year during our wonderful pandemic, was um, uh, uh, it was online. But it was really the same class if we just moved it online. Uh, now we have developed a series of how to channel, even if you think you can't, 3.0, so it's specifically designed to be an online course. It's still amazing. I mean, the exercises, I, the way I dis design a course <laughs> is I do what I teach, is I go into meditation, I do automatic writing, guided writing, and I allow them, my guides, to tell me and share with me the exercises that would best be suited for the people in the audience. Sometimes they give me the entire exercise. Sometimes they say, go look in such and such a book and turn to page 53 and open it up. And it's like, that's really specific. <laughs> I like that because I'm not a book reader. And I look and I see an exercise that may be on 53 or 54 or 52 or something in that particular book. And I then adapt it. It may not have anything to do, the book may not have anything to do with channeling. But I adapt it to the channeling skills. I believe everyone is a channel. I believe that it doesn't matter whether you're what your profession is, it doesn't matter who you are, you are still channeling information from your own personal guidance system. I mean, do you ever, in, when you're in a conversation and somebody's talking to you and you hear yourself say something really profound and you think, wow, where did that come from? That's channeling. You know, the Bible was channeled. Adiranda uh, has informed me that I'm actually to take channeling into the mainstream. <laughs> now, just the thought of that sort of makes me quake in my boots. However, I, I trust the information and I know that's what's happening. And by doing that, what we're doing is we're teaching everyone how to connect with their own guidance system for maybe their own personal benefit or even as a second profession or a part-time job or something when they become proficient enough at it. So we have how to channel, even if you think you can't, 3.0. It is the third version of this, which is an online class because all y'all said that you didn't want it to be always this time frame and six hours long because you may not have six hours to devote to it. But could you make it to where we could watch it at our own time and our own space? Well, my first response to that was, I think that's the Channeler's Academy. <laughs> because the Channeler's Academy is a 12-module course. But this is simpler. This still connects you to your own guidance system, helps you sense or feel the way your information comes in, identify that, and then be able to repeat that anytime you choose. That's how to channel 3.0. Yes, how to channel 3.0, even if you think you can't possibly channel, 
everybody channels by the end of the course. So please join us. We will have a, a two-day event in March, but then after that, it's going to be available to those that attend that two-day event. So please join us for How to Channel, even if you think you can't, 3.0, made especially for you with your requests and uh, their requests. <laughs> we'll see you there. Namaste, y'all.